Hello friends, I am Aswin Jakhania. Today we will learn about soft and soft components as a part of teaching learning process of our engineering subjects. Shafts and soft components contains many aspects, but here we will discuss about introduction about soft, soft materials, soft layout, soft design for stress, deflection consideration, critical speeds for shafts, miscellaneous soft components, limits and fits. So basically for the introduction and you can see the understand shaft and soft components. We have to learn this kind of basic outline points. What is uh, basically soft is? Soft are different than axles. Shafts are rotating members usually of circular cross section. Axles are not rotating members analyzed as static beams. Shafts are used to transmit power or motion. They are essential part in many mass machine design. What to examine about shaft? Whenever we have to choose shaft, we have to exam examine following things as like as material selection, geometric layout, stress and strength, deflection and rigidity, vibration due to natural frequency, all kinds of aspects. Soft materials. Deflection is affected by stiffness, not strength. We have to be uh, careful by, uh, for choosing soft materials as deflection is affected by stiffness, not strength. Stiffness is related to the modulus of elasticity, thus the material modulus of elasticity is constant for all steels, thus material decisions will not control rigidity. Rigidity will be controlled by only by geometric decisions. Now how about the soft layout? The design of the soft layout does not follow a certain rule. It depends mainly on the application. As far as application change, you have to change your soft design. Certain convention to follow in the soft design. Avoid long shaft to minimize deflection. Support loads between the bearing. Avoid using more than two bearings. Torque transmission. In many soft applications, the aim is to transmit torque from one gear to another gear or pulley. The shaft must be sized to support the torsional stress and deflection. To transmit this torque, certain torque transfer elements are used such as keys, spiles, set screws, pins, tapered feeds, shrink feeds. These are the components which are used for kind of application. Soft design for stress. As we have to deal with the stress for particular applications because each and every mechanical applications contain stresses. So where is critical role is we have to soft design for stress. Locate the critical locations along the shaft. Critical locations are on the outer surface where bending moment is large, torque is present and stress concentration exists. Bending moment is determined by shear and bending moment diagrams. A steady bending moment diagram will produce a completely reversed moment on rotating shaft. Axial stresses can be neglected. Shaft stresses we will deal with bending, torsion and axial stresses as mid-range and alternating components. Here you can find the equation for the same. For analysis, it is appropriate to combine the different stresses into the alternating mid-range or the misless stresses. Here you can find the equation 5 and 6. Please note, for ductile materials, the use of stress concentration factor is sometimes optional. Now we can take the acquired muscle strength and use these values in any of non fatigue finger criteria to evaluate the factor of safety or for design purpose, the diameter D. Reminder of the fatigue failure criteria. Good mean German 
ऐसे में इलेक्ट्रिकल और सोडरबर्ग हियर यू कैन फाइंड साफ डिजाइन फोर्स ड्रेसिस अल्टरनेटिंग स्ट्रेस मिनरल स्ट्रेस सोल्डरबर्ग लाइन एस एम इलेक्ट्रिक लाइन यू कैन फाइंड ओवर हियर मॉडिफाइड एट गोरमेन लाइन जर्मन लाइन लैंगर लाइन हियर इज बेसिक डायग्राम ऑफ रिलेटेड टू स्टाफ डिजाइन here you can find what is there in the goodman or say modified a goodman line plunging in the values of non mesh stresses will yield the following equations one sold and and one for d by this kind of equation you can find the d now we will move on over to rotating shaft with the constant bending and torsion the bending stress is completely reversed and torsional is steady we should always consider the possibility of static failure in the first load cycle the asm electric criteria takes yield into account but it is not entirely conservative so in this part we will keep over here but in the future part we will discuss about the future expert of design of stress and in future video we will also cover the overview of mechanical engineering for revision purpose thank you for watching video keep learning